Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be going over probably the most basic thing regarding the War Thunder economy. This is something some of you might understand, something that some of you might not understand, and it is the Silver Lion. That's right, the main currency in War Thunder. And again, in this video, I'll be going over pretty much everything that you need to know about it, including what it is, how to earn it, how to more effectively earn it, how it gets spent, things of that nature. So that being said, what are Silver Lions? Silver Lions are the basic currency in War Thunder. This is something that you earn from every match, you could lose in every match if you do poorly enough, and it's basically what makes the world go round. Now, how is it used? It's used for a myriad of different things. So first and foremost, you'll probably be using it most commonly to purchase new vehicles. So for example, the Pulse Fire costs one 105,000 Silver Lions. Probably have some Russian vehicles like the Yag-10, for example. It costs 22,000 Silver Lions. And as you can see, it's pretty much how you do it. Every single vehicle in this game that is not premium will cost you Silver Lions. But of course, being that this is War Thunder, there are other ways to spend Silver Lions. So if you were to go to the modifications, for example, on the Harrier GR3, once I unlock the EFS, for example, this will cost Silver Lions in order to purchase. So once I get the additional about 14,000 RP in order to unlock the EFS, it will cost Silver Lions to purchase. Additionally, as you can see on the bottom right here, you have the automatic repair of all vehicles after battle and automatic purchasing of ammo and crew replenishment after battle. That's right, ammo, crew replenishment, and repairs all cost Silver Lions. And Silver Lions are earned via different actions that you take in matches. Most commonly, you earn Silver Lions via assists, kills, and base caps, but you can also earn them from a myriad of other ways, such as scouting, such as repairing and helping allies, things of that nature. But the biggest ways that you can earn them basically are through kills, assists, and base caps, whether it's in air battles, ground battles, naval battles, you name it, that's how you do it. Now, while matches are the primary way in which you will be able to earn Silver Lions, there are some other ways as well, primarily through purchasing it with Golden Eagle. So if you were to go up here and click on on the Silver Lions. As you can see, if I wanted, I could purchase 1.3 million Silver Lions currently for the cost of 3,000 Golden Eagles, which isn't really all too inexpensive. That's probably around $20, so it's not a very cheap thing to do. Additionally, you can earn Silver Lions a few other ways, so primarily I would say through premium accounts, although of course with premium vehicles as well. Uh, as you can see on the bottom there with the Ruicat 105, this just being one example, there is a 544% reward multiplier for the silver lion so basically what that means is that let's say if i were to earn one silver lion for an action this would instead give me 5.44 silver lions for that action now premium vehicles do give you more silver lions just as well as premium account will give you more silver lions and it does they kind of boost each other although they don't really stack. Now, if I were to go to the Chieftain Mark III, for example, I'm only getting 320% Silver Lions. So again, by that same metric, if I were to normally earn one Silver Lion, I'm only getting 3.2 rather than the 5.44. Now, if you look at aircraft, for example, aircraft, you tend to have higher multipliers because it's sudden death sort of gameplay, especially at least when it comes to ARB. You have a 496% multiplier right here, whereas this is 1,008%. Now, bear in mind, I also do have a booster, which which, by the way, that is another way in which you can increase your Silver Lions. But as you can see up here, go to the premium account. It tells you that you earn 50% Silver Lions additional for active actions in random battles, 100% Silver Lions for battle time in random battles, and also 50% additional Silver Lions for reward in other game modes. And that includes things like Assault Ground Arcade, Assault Air Arcade, things of that nature. Now, you can also earn Silver Lions by playing Battle Pass. So as you can see down here, you also have boosters, but if I were to go up and I really have to unlock all these things, but I can get 150,000 Silver Lions just like that. I can get 100,000 Silver Lions in the free. And so bear in mind, not everything in the Battle Pass is an earned reward. You can get a lot of these things for free, including Silver Lions. That's actually a really, really good way, at least in my opinion, to earn additional Silver Lions. Now, as I said before, when it comes to SL and RP as well, RP functions very similarly to SL, except that RP unlocks things, whereas SL purchases things, if that makes any sense. 
and with the chieftain again being used as a regular tech tree example you get a 320 percent reward multiplier for the sl and that is again with premium time i do have premium time unlocked here but if i were to go to the base level like tier one sort of vehicles a13 mark one you only get a 16 percent and typically as you go up through the ranks as you increase in br you do get a higher reward multiplier but it also costs more to maintain these vehicles to repair these vehicles to rearm these vehicles to crew these vehicles all of that so when it comes to a vehicle let's just say for example the centurion mark three this is kind of a high mid tier sort of vehicle you are looking at 210,000 silver lines and also 61,000 sl in order to actually crew it so basically what that means is that you purchase this and then once you purchase it you can put it in one of these slots here and to put it in one of these slots to make it usable costs an additional 61,000 silver lines if this vehicle were to be destroyed in a match it will cost a total of 3,973 sl in order to repair as you can see at the bottom of that stat card there is a max repair cost that's basically if you were to survive for x amount of minutes that's the max amount of sl that it will take in order to repair it and as you can see just above that repair cost depending on lifetime so basically for every minute that you survive it costs an additional 858 silver lines in order to repair it going up to again the 3973 now some other things to note here when it comes to repair costs or when it comes to sl as you could see i'm clicking on the chieftain mark three another thing that you could spend sl on is the crew training so just to expert train your crew which is a very useful thing it costs in the example of the chieftain mark three 380 thousand sl now if i were to go to the bishma twmp it costs 870,000 sl and also much the same goes for premium vehicles the rookat 105 1,110,000 sl and again these are all earned via playing in game or you could again purchase everything so just to wrap up this video now there are probably i would say two additional ways miscellaneous ways not really something that you're going to spend too many sl on first and foremost it is the purchasing of your first additional crew slots so as you can see i've got like what seven or eight of these crew slots down here and the vast majority of these were purchased with ge but the first two that you can purchase i think you get like three standard the first two that you can purchase do cost sl and typically they are a little bit of sl i think like fifty thousand, maybe a hundred or 150,000 after that which isn't all too terrible beyond this you could also spend sl in order to replace a task so as you can see here let's say if i wanted to replace this one right change task cost 1000 sl and now i've got this task task and then it will cost 5,000 and it goes up to around 50,000 SL after a few times then it will go up to GE which is something you do not want to spend but again just as an example the two more miscellaneous ways that you really won't be using it all the time or at least in large amounts will be by updating tasks and also by getting some additional crew slots at least for the first few crew one final final way in which you could earn silver lines typically this is a pretty small way in which you could do it but it will help people especially new players you can go over to achievements and just look at the silver lines that you can get so for example get to know us watch credits to the end you get a thousand silver lines and a hundred convertible rp which is pretty cool click on aircraft for example if i were to master three more russian aircraft i get a reward of a hundred thousand silver lines as you can see this is a multi-tier reward so if i were to master one aircraft for the russians then i get ten thousand silver lines if i master five i get twenty five thousand silver lines so build up and it can actually help you out over time that being said let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below if you guys didn't know i did have another video scheduled for today and my external hard drive failed it was to be one of the biggest videos i released in the last few months and i uploaded 50 percent of it and then it failed so i started the upload last night and then anyways long story short i tried re-uploading it this morning or starting from the middle and it failed but either way again let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below very basic topic silver lions but for those who do not know what silver lions are or really how best to earn them this is how you do it this is the base on how you do it you get boosters you can play the game you get premium premium account all these things silver lions are the lifeblood of war thunder outside of the actual blood sweat and tears of the players who play this game and cry over it. either way thanks again and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone